All right, this video is meant to help you fill in table two on the diffusion through a membrane lab that New York State Education Department requires, period. See, I have uh, kind of redrawn, I guess you could say, the table on the actual laptop here. And what I'm going to do is go through and do all the tests. Now, each of these little squares has a little white piece of paper, and then I put some plastic film over it so it didn't soak in, doesn't uh, affect our, uh, our results at all. We're going to start with the blue colored indicator solution for glucose, and that is sometimes called Failings solution or Benedict solution. So what I have is three test tubes, one marked D for distilled water, one marked S for starch, and one mark G for glucose. So what we're gonna do, we'll go through and put our distilled water first. And I'm just going to use my distilled water bottle. Just a, a little bit of distilled water in there. Then the starch, and we're gonna get that out of the beaker over here. Maybe, dropper isn't working quite well. There we go. We're gonna put our starch into the other tube and then some glucose in the G tube okay. and glucose goes into this tube. So I have pretty much comparable amounts. I get a little bit more distilled water. To test with a blue colored glucose indicating solution, you have to heat it. So we're going to put about 10 drops of that solution in each tube. And you'll see they are light blue by comparison. And off to the side over here, I have a hot plate with a beaker. So we're going to put those in there for just a few minutes and let them warm up. You can hear them as they go in. And I'll try and come over and not tip the camera over here. Okay, so this is what we've got, a water bath set up. We're going to let those go for about four or five minutes, maybe a little bit less. And if there's glucose present, you'll see an orange or a brick, brick red color. So now we'll come back over here. Okay, back to our table. This next test is a little bit easier because we don't have to heat it. Okay, and that is the amber colored testing solution, sometimes called Lugol solution or iodine solution. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on with this. I'm going to put some distilled water on the amber colored piece. <coughs> Pardon me. A little bit of starch. You can kind of see it there. I know it's kind of difficult to see. And then some glucose. Now, iodine solution is a maroon, deep maroon red color. If there is starch present, it will turn the solution black. So let's look at the distilled water first. Definitely did not turn black, but it did come out the color of the uh, Lugol solution or the amber colored testing solution. Here is the starch. Now it looks red right now, but let it sit for a few moments. And then the glucose. Well, it's pretty obvious that the starch indicated positively. That's the black coloration I was talking about. So distilled water has no starch in it. Obviously, starch solution has starch in it. Glucose, same result, no starch. 